Exactly. Um, ben Warland is here on the Pitch Podcast, and he's back here at Cooper Stadium, which is brilliant. Do you know yet what number you're going to wear going into the season, or has that not been decided? Uh, number three. Well, I'm pretty sure number three. Okay, there's some... Uh, um, so I got some... sent a jersey for Ruby and had Wall and Three on the back, so I'm pretty certain it's number three. Ooh, okay. So just going back through the club, George wore... George Timotheo wore number three last season, I think. And then did Nigel Bogard wear number three for us? It was three or four. I think he was... I think he was four. It was four here and three at the Jets, I believe. Anyway, what are we talking about Nigel Bogard for? <laughs> anyway... Uh, how do we follow you on um, social media, Ben? Uh, just Ben Warland. Pretty pretty easy. Just at Ben Warland. Yeah. On Instagram. On Instagram. And Twitter? Twitter, Ben Warland1, mm. I think. TikTok? No TikTok. Okay. Uh, right. <laughs> so there's some good questions here and there's some honking ones. So this is from the uh, brother of mm. our former Golden Boot winner. Dylan McGowan, which we're still trying to work that out when you say golden boot winner Dylan McGowan. So this is from Ryan McGowan, who is obviously um, a former Sydney FC player and a great South Australian and a great human being as well. So shout out to Ryan. Thank you very much. He won't be watching this. Um, Is Gawler closer to Uluru or Glenelg? Glenelg. But the running joke is that Gawler, I live near Uluru because Gawler's so far away from the city. Yeah. And he'd always hammer me. Sydney. That's his About type that. of That's, banter, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> uh, Jordan Trombetta on Instagram. What do you remember from your last appearance on the pitch? I remember I was chewing gum the whole time with you. <laughs> and it was in that room. At it the used front to be heaps Mo's. more loose as well. Like, yeah, it's like on a couch. You're yeah. Just like relaxing. Yeah. And... I've got more mature, I think. Uh, or the club too. told me to. <laughs> yeah, you've got <laughs> heaps more mature. Hey. Um, okay, this is from Tim. KT or Tim KT underscore on Instagram. What's been your most favourite A-League moment? Uh, look, I have to say playing in the grand final with Sydney, even though we lost. Um, obviously, I'd won a few before, but... Had, oh, oh, of course, yes. <laughs> well, one was with Adelaide, but yeah, I, was, I, wasn't on the, I wasn't in the squad. Um, and then I won a couple with, with Sydney, but one, I had my knee. I did my ACL halfway through the year, so I missed that. Um, and then the year after, we won it again, and I was on the bench and didn't get on the pitch. But on the bench, I think, is okay, right? Because the, let me ask you this. We saw um, the Western United boys celebrate. And what I love, I think it's just hilarious that afterwards, Diamante was wearing his kit with <laughs> yeah. the captain's armband on and he didn't even play. I didn't see that, actually. He was. He I was thought wearing, he wore his kit. And the no, captain's no. armband on for the photos and everything. That's right. Um, I rate that. So celebrating when you are part of the team. So even though you were on the bench, you were still warming up and stuff throughout yeah. the match. But then you're in the club suit for the other games. Yeah. Is it still that same buzz or yeah, is it, it yeah. like everyone obviously wants to play and be on the pitch when that final whistle goes but yeah. surely you still have that amazing buzz yeah for sure it's you can't really match it I think I think regardless even if, if you're part of the squad um, whether that be on the bench playing or in the stands you still get that massive buzz yeah but obviously everyone wants to be playing and being part of that moment on the pitch I reckon the, the squad goes. guys probably party more <laughs> than the on the pitch guys who are still trying to hydrate after <laughs> yeah. the game yeah Okay, so this is from Jack Lewis, 333. Coming from Sydney FC, how are we, Adelaide United, viewed as an opponent and what can we improve on? Well, that's, a, that's a real football question. It's I like really it. in depth. Yeah. Okay, uh, look, I think really difficult to play against. Um, obviously, a lot of young boys and they uh, just have no fear and maybe a little bit unpredictable in the things they, they do. Um, and obviously, got some really, really good players that um, we really have to keep an eye on coming up against. Um, but, yeah, obviously we do a lot of analysis, especially on Adelaide because they... Stop saying we. This is your former club. You play for Adelaide now. So you, when you say we, talking about Sydney FC, you have to say they. They. <laughs> yeah, they, Anyways. they would do a lot. Yeah, of great. Them. I'm just trying to help because you're here now. <laughs> okay. It's a great question, though, Jack. I mean, thank you. Um, can I ask a follow-up question to that? How do you actually prepare to play against Nesta 
Because he's so unpredictable. When you've got Nesta Aaron Kundo who can do absolutely anything, is it just try and keep up with him, basically? Just try and keep up with him and just, yeah, do whatever you can to not let him buy Yeah, him. I love that. Um, Craig.1239 on Instagram. Do you like Vegemite? Yeah, I like Vegemite. Yeah. yeah. Some people have Vegemite and avocado yeah. on toast. I recently tried that and it's really good. Really? Yeah. Okay. Give it a whirl. I might give it a whirl. Phil Hurd... That he was going to ask a question on Instagram. That's just a running joke. You'll get used to it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, are you excited at the competition? Are you excited at the competition for the defence positions in the starting eleven? I get what he's saying. So he's basically saying, are you pumped that it's going to be challenging in training to uh, make the starting eleven? Yeah, I think every every healthy club needs competition for spots, um, and the one the clubs that do have healthy competition really do well at the end of the year. I felt like I mansplained that to you as well when I didn't need to because you obviously got the question. That's my bad, Phil. Sorry about that. Phil heard that Jared's going to try and mansplain. Sorry. Um, Luca Yak on Instagram, uh, what valuable lessons did you learn in Sydney and how will that benefit Adelaide? I think we covered that already. So, um, uh, Luca, if you go back and listen to the whole podcast, wherever you get your podcast, you'll get some great insight from Ben. You'll also hear the moment where he and his missus had a fight at the chemist, <laughs> which is so interesting. Um, Ewan McLean on Instagram, what football team do you support? Arsenal. Okay. Uh Good. They're going real well. Um, Conradandro, any advice for young footballers looking to turn pro? Just train hard and enjoy enjoy what you do. That goes a massive way in, in getting there. Uh, Harry Scobie, four on Instagram. Who is your biggest idol? My biggest idol? Wow. Um, I've saved my, my parents. Yep. Nothing to do with football, but just my parents. The sacrifices they made for me to get to where I am today um, can never be repaid at all. I love that. Uh, James Randall 14 on Instagram. Do you have any pregame rituals or superstitions? Uh, I always put my left sock on before my right, but okay. I think that I don't really mean to do it, and I don't know that I'm doing it, but it mm. just always happens. All right. Cool. Weird one, weird one. No, I don't think it's weird. I think you're into what you're into, mate. Um, <laughs> and we're stoked that you're back here, Benny. I think it's great, man. And um, without breaking too much confidence, like we're, we got to know each other when you were just a young kid playing as part of the youth team and part of the squad and surrounded by a group of guys that no longer are playing professional football. And you are someone that has taken a risk in your career to do what you think is right for you, and it's paid off in spades. And I always believe that how you recover from adversity, it, what brings out the best in you. And I'm sure everybody has that idea of one day you'd like to come back to Adelaide if you're not overseas and doing things. So the fact that you're here, we're stoked to have you back, mate. It's going to be brilliant to bring another South Australian home who deserves his spot. And I really feel that your experience at Adelaide United is going to be a lot different in, in the best way possible where you've earned your spot. We wanted to bring you home at a really good time for the club. So I speak on behalf of all the supporters and the members. Um, welcome home as a dad and a husband. I'm sure that's still a little bit strange <laughs> yeah, to hear as well. Strange, yeah. But uh, it's great to have you home, mate. Well done. Thank you. Thanks very much for having me. Now, yeah. I don't know if you're going to sign this, just only because this is last year's squad. So I all think right. what we'll do, we'll get him to sign another top because we've got to give this away at some stage. So for all of you three people that watch and listen to this podcast, um, we will work out how to do this very soon, but we are back. And even though it's the off-season, we are going to still speak to our new signings in the Isuzu Ute A-League Men's or the Liberty A-League Women's. And we should give a shout-out as well um, to our very own Craig Goodwin, who was part of that Socceroos team that have qualified to make it to the uh, World Cup in Qatar. Finish us off. Andrew Redmayne, legend, a little bit unique, but one of the best guys that you could play with. Can you please confirm the rumours? Yeah, it's, it's correct. He's one of the nicest guys you ever meet. We love that. And thank you, Redders, for uh, helping us get through. But when you come back next season playing for Sydney FC, you get nothing, mate, because you are a visitor. <laughs> and Benny's ours with Van der Sarg. <laughs> Maybe we'll get Van der Sarg on next. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching and listening. Love you. Benny's home.